Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I'm Jeanette Byro. I'm a medium and a channeler and welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive in and see what's in store in the cards. I hope you guys had a beautiful weekend. Uh, last week was just a whirlwind of a week. So I'm curious to see what's in store this week. And I thought maybe we would go back to um, tarot cards this week. So I'm using the Lights Years Tarot. It's just such a stunning deck. The cards, the images are just beautiful. So I kind of felt a draw to tarot. So we'll see what Spirit is wanting to say through the cards today. And let's just dive in. What do we have, Spirit, in store for Monday, a new week? Oh, one jumper. All right, let's pull. Oh, liking it already. Hey, this is great. Okay, so our jumper card. Remember, jumper cards are always the umbrella theme for how to interpret the rest of the cards. So the jumper card we have is the Queen of Wands. Now, the cool thing about the Queen of Wands, you can see that she's sitting here with a wand in her hand, meaning she's mastered um, this aspect of her journey. The point that she's at right now, she has mastered many things. She has the power of flame within her, as you can see that flame in her palm. So she knows her fire within. She knows how she can ignite her passions. And then she also has a symbolism of the black cat here, meaning this kind of, um, again, the mastery, but almost the mysticism. She recognizes the mysticism. She's proud to be who she is. She's proud to stand in her power. Long time ago, black cats were a symbolism of negativity, but this card puts the black cat in there as this power of like, I have a black cat. And I am proud to be with my black cat. I'm proud to be in my power. I'm proud to have the passion that runs through me. I'm proud to make the decisions that I make based on my heart's desire, my heart's calling. This is like being in your full power. So that's really cool that that's what it's asking us because the cards that follow, we have the fool, we have the eight of pentacles, and we have the knight of swords. So this is really interesting because the Fool card, this is the very first card in tarot in the Major Arcana. You can see it's a number zero there at the bottom. And the Fool, <clears throat> excuse me, the Fool talks about starting a new journey, being on a new path, new journey, new insights, new understandings, new beginnings, which is really interesting because remember how the partial solar eclipse we had on April 30th, Spirit was saying that that was being represented of or by new beginnings. So this is that card, new beginnings. And you can see in the card here too, there's the flower of life. So it's kind of that merging of all the timelines of self experiences, past, present, future, merging together in creating this new journey. So you're on the cusp of new, or maybe you've already started stepping into the new, but this is really exciting. I love this. So that is followed by the eight of pentacles. And the eight of pentacles is really a card about... Um, Gathering all the intel where you're at, reevaluating it, and stepping forward, being really conscious. This would be a great card, simply put, to say conscious choice, right? You can see how she's reviewing everything that she has in front of her, and she's sitting there and pondering and thinking like, okay, what's my next right step? What do I want to do now? And so I love when that follows the Fool card, because it's saying, okay, you're on this new path. Where are you going next? What's your next step? Look at everything you have in front of you. Look at all of the things spirit has been bringing you, life has been bringing you, and make your next right step. So that's really neat. And then followed by the Knight of Swords, this talks, this has many different meanings, but in this reference, it's saying, go after what you want, swift movement, quick action. And I think that's really interesting. Now, one thing to be thoughtful of is the energy within this eclipse. Um, we had a solar partial solar eclipse on april 30th and then on the 16th i believe we have a lunar eclipse so within this eclipse window there's a lot of things coming up for us but a lot of opportunities for us to step into something make something happen fire up that passion that ignition point of shift and change for self so this is saying when that lands on your path and it feels right and you assess it and it feels all aligned go after it see so yeah, how this guy's going after that uh, motorcycle it's like, go after it. So there's a new path presented for us here. 
we have all the pieces we need in order to make these steps and take action as long as we are doing so from our place of power, which is fantastic. Ask your heart, what is your heart telling you to do next? That's how you wanna move. New path, new energy, new week. That's exciting. So I'll leave you guys with that. Happy Monday. I hope this helps kind of set your Monday in the right uh, mood energy. And I uh, will be back tomorrow. If you guys are joining me for the first time, thank you so much for joining. We did drop a podcast today. So check that one out as well. I'll connect it to the end of the video. And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe, share, and like. And I will see you guys tomorrow. And we'll see how the rest of the week unfolds.